Hi, this is Mike from BandLab. In this video, we're going to look at five ways you can use BandLab's included effects and instruments to give your projects a bigger sound. You can open this project yourself at the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. Here we're starting out with the sketch I made earlier. If you're looking for a guide to starting your own track from scratch, check out our playlist of video tutorials. This sketch comprises three drum tracks, a main drum track and separate snare and shaker tracks, a lead track, a counter melody track, and a bass track. Let's look at five ways we can make these parts sound bigger. First, let's get a bigger snare sound. I duplicate the snare track, and in the effects panel, I add a reverb, univerb. I set the type to classroom, and turn the mix all the way up. Now this track is giving us just the pure wet reverb sound, with the original snare track providing the unprocessed dry sound. This allows us to process the wet reverb track separately. Currently the snare's reverb tail is very long, but we can tighten it up with the Dynamics noise gate effect. I turn the attack time down to the minimum possible to make the effect snappy, then use the threshold to determine how much of the reverb signal is allowed through. I use a threshold value of minus 28 dB. I then add a Dynamics BL1176 compressor, which makes the signal louder on average. So the reverb makes the snare sound bigger, the gate makes the reverb sound tighter, and the compressor makes the effect as a whole sound louder. The shaker sound sits at the center of the mix, but we can widen it with some processing. I add a modulation stereo chorus effect. This gives the track stereo width, which makes it sound bigger. To make the lead synth sound bigger, I'm going to layer it with another sound. I duplicate the lead track, and on the new version of the track, I set the instrument to strings, string orchestra staccato. This sound is harmonically rich, and when played alongside the original track, gives it a bigger feel. On the counter melody track, I'm again going to use reverb and compression to get a bigger sound, but this time I'm not going to use a separate reverb track. This allows me to compress the wet, reverbed signal and the dry, unprocessed signal, giving me a different dynamic feel. I add a reverb, studio reverb, to the counter melody track. I then add a BL1176, which will compress the output of the studio reverb. To make the bass louder, I'm going to use the Dynamics Pumper effect with an amount of 10%. This reduces the volume of the signal on each beat. In this project, a kick drum plays on each beat, so this is akin to a pumping sidechain compression effect. Because the bass is lowered in volume when the kick plays, we can turn the overall level of the bass up with the utility gain effect. I'm adding 2 dB here, and we'll still only hit around the same peak level on the master track as we had before we added the pumper. So we have a louder bass sound overall with this trick. Let's compare the original and process versions of the sketch to hear how it's changed. The 
processed version sounds bigger, louder, and wider. Remember, you can fork this project to make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!